Hey folks, Marco here. Because your time has value, let me explain briefly what this video is about so you can decide whether you want to watch it or not. The video is about graphical user interface that we can install and use to train LoRa textual inversions and so on. So basically, this dude here wrote a bunch of scripts in this repository here that are used for LoRa training, for textual inversions and so on. Fortunately, for those of us who are not into machine learning, this dude here has this repository here, which essentially ha gives us a user interface, a graphical user interface for um, uh, to do this sort of thing so we don't have to write the code. In other words, we have buttons to click and uh, uh, scrolly wheels and checkboxes and so on. However, the problem is regardless of which web UI you use, whether it's automatic 11.11 web UI or Forge web UI or Comfy, tool for visual programming. Either way, they all require Python 3.10.6, whereas when you look at the uh, repository, you can see that the uh, requ the pre-requirement for it is Python 3.10.11. Of course, I went ahead, installed 3.10.11, and then what happened is 3.10.6 got deleted. And then when I installed 3.10.6, then 3.10.11 gets deleted, and so on and so forth. So I figured out and set things up on my computer so that um, to make them all work. So that when I double click, for example, on automatic 11.11 shortcut on desktop, it automatically knows and launches it as 310, uh, 3.10.6. Uh, and when I double click, for example, on Koya, it launches it as 3.10.11. And uh, I just thought I'd share how I've set it up. And that's what this video is about. So what's the plan? Uh, official repo instructions are. Uh, this is just copied off from the from the desk, from the uh, repository instructions. Um, what I'm going to do, or rather, what I have done, uh, is first of all, um, I've deleted my Python installs, both of them, both 3.10.6 and 3.10.11, um, so that I have literally nothing uh, uh, installed. Then I've installed something called Anaconda. From there, I've set up Python 3.10.6 and 3.10.11, um, and then, of course, made sure that my web UI work. So uh, regardless of, um, obviously, all of this is pointless if we can't run Stable Diffusion anymore. So uh, once I've done that, install uh, CUDA 11.8. You probably don't need to install Git if you already have um, you, you, the chances are you already have it installed if you've if you've used um, uh, stable diffusion web UI already, and um, you then in, you also install um, uh, uh, these uh, redistributables, which is straightforward, and then run the setup file. So I'm certainly not a Python wizard, but uh, among other things, uh, and one of the things that Anaconda does is it is a uh, Python version manager. So you don't need me for this. So you just uh, Google Python, uh, download Anaconda, whatever, and you can easily find the, the button where to download it from. When you install it, uh, it'll uh, install several things, but uh, you will have this thing called Anaconda Navigator. You open it and under environments create, uh, the new window will pop up and it'll let you enter um, uh, it'll let you set up a new environment. So let's say we enter uh, PY for Python 3.10.6, and then we choose the closest uh, version we can to 3.10.6, which is 3.10.14. And we do the same thing for 3.10.11. Uh, and what we are going to get is uh, this. This is how the window is going to look. You then close the navigator, and that's it as far as our navigator usage is concerned at this point. You now have, Anaconda actually has its own prompt. So if you type Anaconda prompt, just like command prompt, you, you also have Anaconda prompt. So when you open it, we're going to, uh, in that prompt, we're going to set up uh, environments by typing, uh, well, Conda activate Py 3.10.6, just the ones we've just created. This is just, this is Python 3.10.6 only in name, because remember, we've actually, the one that's actually there is the one we chose from the drop down list, which from memory was 3.10.14. So when you then type Conda install Python equals 3.10.6, 
you should get a uh, uh, notification or something saying that it, the, the Python got downgraded to 3.10.6. And similarly, you switch to 3.10.11 which is really 3.10.14, and then you make sure that it 3.10.14 is actually downgrades to 3.10.11. So, um, in my case, because I have deleted uh, Python from my system, when I open command prompt and type Python version, it says Python not found. Obviously, double-clicking all those batch files isn't going to work either anymore. However, uh, now we have Anaconda prompt, so and this is a point where you can double check to make sure that everything is that at this point you are aligned with what what I'm uh, um, that you've done everything correctly. So when you open a command prompt, this is what uh, it would look like. When you type Python version, you should see uh, as of the recording, uh, uh, this is uh, happens to be three eleven seven version of Python. Then when you activate three ten six, you get. 3.10.6, and then check the version, it is indeed 3.10.6. And similarly, you can then activate 3.10.11, and then when you check the version, it'll say 3.10.11. This is what you should be seeing when uh, uh, if you've set everything up correctly. So where are we at with uh, on our list? So may, you may or may not have deleted your Python, that's up to you. Uh, you have hopefully installed Anaconda. You have set up your Python 3.10.6 and 3.10.11. And now we are at this point here where we want to make sure that the web UI actually works. So uh, if I say double click on uh, setup um, for automatic 11.11, the um, uh, user web UI batch file, this is what comes up, right? Because there is no Python as far as uh, command prompt uh, is concerned. So I would technically need to uh, uh, launch it using Anaconda prompt after I've activated Python 3.10.6 environment. However, that's obviously it's quite tedious having to do it over and over. So alternatively, this is some this is one of those things that I figured out. So if you grab, if you right click and drag on the say for example on desktop. Uh, the web UI user batch file, right? And then under properties where it says target, what you can do is, so for me, this is what, what I have. For you, it will probably be different. Uh, you uh, you change it this way, in this in this manner here. So, uh, so don't forget, uh, you won't have TTRPG. Uh, you'll be whatever uh, uh, username uh, uh, you have, uh, on your on your on your Windows computer, um, and what once you hit apply, what that does, it's the, you'll see that your the icons going to change, um, and then when you double click, it will hopefully work because we're telling it Py three ten six, we're telling it to activate Python three ten six and then launch a Web UI user batch batch file, and that's essentially it. Um, finishing up, so you, you know you don't need me for this. So you, you download CUDA 11.8 as usual. So for me, this I chose Windows x86 64, Windows 11 exe file. Download it, install it. Um, you install Git if you don't have it already. Uh, install Visual Studio uh, Redistributable. So uh, by following the link, and finally Git clone the uh, the repository. So. Uh, I'm assuming you know how to do that. So green button, HTTPS, then you click on uh, to grab uh, this button here to grab the um, URL. And then uh, open, you find it's a place wherever you want to uh, set up your Koya um, uh, uh, graphical user interface. You open in terminal and um, git clone, paste the link. And then once you do that, this you sh this is what you should be seeing, and that's essentially it. So then you run a setup batch file from Python 3.10.11 environment, and now you know hopefully how to do that. So just like we've done use uh, uh, for um, uh, automatic 11.11, we've launched it from 3.10.6. It's analogous to that, so you don't need me to show you that. And I will end the video here. So I will just leave you guys with um, answers to questions. This will 
Unless your background is machine learning, uh, these questions will likely catch you off guard. They certainly caught me. So uh, these are, the, to the best of my knowledge, the answers that you should be uh, uh, providing uh, when, you, when you install the Koya. And that's it from me. If you found this video helpful, please give my YouTube channel some love. And I will see you guys next time. Thank you. Yo, we diving deep in the cold, no sleeper And I can't just the tool, making data science cheaper With Python and R, it's the main feature Open source hero, the knowledge seeker Packages on deck, over 1500 NumPy pandas, get your data crunched and bunted Machine learning, AI stats so grounded With Anaconda, your project's astounded Anaconda, slicing data like a blade in the science game, it's the top grade Can't manage packages, no delay In the cold jungle, it's the ace of spade Create environments, isolation's key Different projects, in harmony see Jupiter, spider, tool so free Anaconda navigator, GUI easy peasy Cross platform, Windows to Mac Linux to us on the go boss Community strong with the open source gloss Anaconda's the king, no need to floss Anaconda, slicing data like a blade In the science game, it's the top grade Conda managed packages, no delay In the cold jungle, it's the ace of spades